Hey y'all, if you're new to this channel, my name is Drew Schaefer. I am a travel and concert videographer and photographer. I've been fortunate enough to work with some of the biggest artists and travel agencies and companies in the world. And today I'm gonna give you my advice on how to better tell a story with just photography. So for my first advice and tip or trick, um, you got to ask yourself, what is it am I shooting and what type of feeling am I trying to give off? If I'm shooting a fishing documentary, I'm trying to give off the feeling of we're catching big fish, we're in the middle of nowhere, we're deserted. That's what you want to give off. If I'm shooting a concert for, let's say, Quinn, um, you know, you want to show that there's a lot of people in the crowd, you want to choose different angles, you want to shoot every angle, high, low, crowd, behind the artist, close-ups. Um, and I'll give you an example right here. Yeah, so basically we are looking at Quinn photos right now and this is the first one. You know, I just shot this uh, from the pit um, and it kind of just gives off like, wow, that's like on fire, whatever. Um, I shot this one backstage with him. Um, you know, you just kind of want to show him happy. You know, he's a good guy. Um, he's a hockey fan, something like that. Something to connect with the audience. And then here we just got the drummer, you know, her just doing her thing. And then another close up of Quinn. See, now I'm starting to change it up. Now I'm going behind Quinn. Now I'm in front of him. Now let's go to the side. Let's show how big the crowd is. And if the crowd is more populated on one side, choose that side. You don't want to ever show, artists don't want to show any empty seats. And then I really love like this angle. You know, it just shows that everyone in the crowd is having a great time. And when I'm shooting these, I'm like sprinting from like side to side, like, every time here's another one that i really like i thought it was really cool because it was just kind of a side shot with the co2 and the hands up um, and again i ran from stage up to this point to get that shot so um, you got to work fast you got to work like a ninja so you want to always just change your angles you know wide close up to the side in the crowd if you're shooting concerts like that um, and that kind of just gives it the full story i think um, and if you really want to kind of set yourself apart I also kind of like to make little Instagram stories with something like this. It just kind of gives people like a, a little view of just about everything in one photo. Yeah, so this is always a really fun little thing to do. Um, I'll typically choose my favorite photo. I'm doing a multiple post, put that one first and then make something like this. Put it as my second post, uh, second swipe over. Um, and I think this is cool. It just kind of tells the whole story right here. It's like crowd. He's singing. They're having a good time. You can see the crowd really getting into it. So. Um, just think about that when you're shooting, changing your angles. Now with photography and telling a story, it's not always the money shots. It's not always the DJ on top of the, the, the stage with the CO2 going off. It's not always the fisherman with the big catch. You know, it's the gear, it's the food, it's the, the smells around you, it's the environment. Um, and you really want to portray that. Um, and when you're shooting, let's say like a fishing documentary, and I'll show you some photos in a second. You know, it wasn't just him catching, it wasn't just him getting a fish. We actually, on this shoot day, didn't even catch a fish, uh, but I feel like the photos were well enough that we could still use them down the road for the documentary, uh, that they were cool enough, uh, they told a story, it got people excited about, you know, going out and fishing. So I'll show you guys that right now. Yeah, so right here, we just kind of have him pulling the line through the reel, and I think it's a really cool shot. The sun is just coming up, um, and that's just a close-up macro shot. You know, he's kind of a goofy guy. This is my buddy, Connor Bach. Um, and he's just got like a funny smile on his face. And I think, you know, having that in your photos just kind of shows like a sense of realness. Um, it's like, hey, he's just like me. I'm a weirdo. Um, and I feel like people can connect with that. We've got like kind of a cool uh, shot here. I used a lens from Vietnam to actually shoot this shot. Um, and you know, you just kind of need shots like this, whether you use it for like a poster or a post on Instagram or, um, a YouTube thumbnail. It's just a really clean, cool shot. Kind of just, you know, shows that he's a fisherman. He's got the Patagonia going on. Um, another close up of the reel really shows Orvis here. Um, I really like this shot. And like I said, you know, you got to get macro shots. You got to get wide shots. You got to get extra wide shots. You got to get medium shots. You got to really always change it up. Here's another shot. This just shows that we are making a documentary. Um, I've got my zoom recorder way too close to the water for comfort. Um, and I really like this shot because it just shows like, hey, we're out here, we're in the wilderness, we are, we're making a video, we're, we're, we're getting down and dirty. Um, another North Face shot of my jacket, um, just to show that it's cold. 
Um, and like I said, it's the environment around you. So we're, I had gloves on in the last shot. This one, I've got a North Face jacket. It just shows, okay, it's cold out, they're in the water. I can feel that. It's the sense of realness um, that we're trying to portray here. And here's the gear bag. And I really like this shot because it just shows the fishing line and the gear all mixed together, the car keys, you know, everything. So I really like this shot because it's, it shows you that there's photography going on, there's a video going on, and there's fishing going on. And I think that's really cool. So I keep emphasizing like changing your shots and that's 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 really important. Um, I mean, and it's not always the money shot, I'll say that again. Um, it's it's the gear, it's the jackets, it's the food you're eating, it's, it's everything. So don't always think that you have to just get the money shot, you gotta get all the other shots too. It really builds the story around it and it even makes the money shots even better. Also, lastly, there are no set rules for this. Have fun with it, do your own thing, create your own style. Um, you know, do things that I'm not even telling you to do. Think think outside the box. You can tell a story in many different ways with photography. This is just how I like to do it. You know, changing my angles, uh, showing the gear and the food and everything that kind of comes with an adventure like fishing or uh, a concert. So, you know, there's no set rules. It's up to you. Uh, have fun with it. Uh, and if you go out there and you take cool photos, DM to me on Instagram or tag me. Uh, I would love to see them. Um, if you guys ever need advice on travel or concerts, something like that, DM me on Instagram. I always respond, um, and I will see you guys hopefully in another video. If you like this, subscribe, like, you know, do all those things that the cringeworthy YouTubers tell you to do. All right, peace, guys. I'll see you in another video. Whatever time of day you're watching this, have a good time. All right, see you.